guys, Gypsy Wolf. Thanks so much for joining me. All right, so this video is a continuation from the previous one I did on how to make a cleansing spray that is an alternative to using smudge sticks like sage, palo santo, whatever, for whatever reason that you can't use it, okay? So if you haven't already watched that previous video, you're gonna go on and watch that, so that way you can come back and watch this one and uh, finish it on up, because that's what we're doing. We're finishing it on up here. So if you're new to my channel, again, my name is Gypsy Wolf. I teach all things witchcraft, spells, potions, oils, powders, herbs, you name it, we talk about it here. So I would encourage you to subscribe if you're interested in learning about that, because we have a lot of fun here. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. You guys all mean the world to me. I have met some truly amazing people just through my channel, and I couldn't be more grateful. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. You are going to need the mixture that we made the other day, all right? Now, you want to charge this like I said in my last video, for an odd number of nights, anywhere like three, five, seven, up to 13, or you can do a full moon cycle if that feels right to you, okay? So I did five nights for mine. Um, and a big reason for that is because I added tobacco in mine, which you can omit if you can't get your hands on it if you're not old enough, or you just don't want to, but it does turn it this darker color, and I don't want it to be too dark. So I didn't want to do it for super long. You're going to need a measuring cup, something to strain your herbs with, like cheesecloth, which I normally use, but I couldn't find mine, so I'm just using a little coffee filter. You're going to need your spray bottle. If you want to use a little funnel and have one, feel free. And then you can add some essential oil to your spray if you choose. One good one would be lemon. That really clears energy. Or if you're trying to also truly incorporate um, a higher vibration in your area, in your space, um, and you really like the scent, you could also do um, some type of rose, okay? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Really simple. Now, my wrist is still messed up, so Hopefully I don't make the world's biggest mess today. All right. So I think a, a sieve might not quite work for this because most of them aren't fine enough. And the whole point of this is to make sure we don't get any of the little particles because they will stop up the sprayer. So I'm just gonna hold this here. Normally you can use a rubber band, but I couldn't find one to save my life. So I'm just, if you can see there, I'm gonna have to slowly pour this because it does take longer when you use something like, like this, as opposed to cheesecloth or a sieve. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for the video. But I want to show you guys how to do this. So I'm just pouring a little bit at a time, letting some of it drip down. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. I forgot to put on my glasses. Just pouring that in. It actually smells, it smells pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> this is kind of a new mixture I made. I, it only smells minty, but I think that might be from the sage. Sometimes when sage is steeped or cooked, it can get like a minty scent. I actually just bought a sage plant that, and a raised flower bed. So I plan on working on that this week, and I'm going to get some some pretty flowers, a few more herbs, because I'm out of space in my herb garden, so. 
then I like to have fresh plants outside that I can cook with, witch with, all that fun stuff. And it really does add a lot more power to your spell or to whatever you're doing when you grow your own plants and put your own love into them. Okay. I wish this was going faster. I was hoping this would be a very quick video. But for all of you that decided to make this, let me know if you omitted anything, added anything, um, and how you like it. Now, one thing I will say, the piece of quartz crystal that I put in mine, it's a point and it's raw. So I'm actually not going to put that in the master bottle because I don't want it, because it's raw, it can absorb some of the color from this tobacco. And I don't want that to happen. I should have thought of that ahead of time. So I'm going to be adding, I'll show you as this continues to strain. I have three little quartz crystal pieces that I'm gonna add instead. So when you add your quartz crystal, if you choose, make sure it's tumbled or a piece that you don't care if you don't really get it back. Bottom line. All right, I'm just gonna finish pouring that liquid. Woo. I knew I was gonna drop it. I knew it was gonna happen, <laughs> but that's all right. We just strain it out. going to finish by pouring all the herbs into there because I kind of want to get out my Palo Santo because I'm going to be adding that to my sprayer because that won't stop it up obviously okay and I don't mind the scent and I have to get out my little clear quartz and I am going to put that in a clean glass of water so that way it doesn't stain and then you just take this and you squeeze it okay get all the goodness out of there and you're good to go all right put this to the side all right now we take our little sprayer we have our Palo Santo stick and either the clear quartz you added to this mixture or the new ones. And then, very simply, we pour this into our bottle. Okay, you want to leave a little room at the top. The sprayer. Okay. Now here's where you would add your essential oils if you choose. I'm gonna smell mine again. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon. This feels right. And I love the smell. It just makes things smell so clean and pretty. So I'm gonna do five drops because I steeped it for five nights. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we cap this up. Give it a good shake. And it's ready to be used. You can label it. I normally like to because I make lots of different sprays, but this is the only one you're making. You don't have to, obviously. You do not have to add the essential oils. That's entirely up to you. It's whatever you want. And then you just use this like you would a sage stick. So, you know, you go around the house and just, let's see here. Spray around, you can spray on your person. It smells pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, however you would use a sage stick. So I think this is great. Now you can leave it in your fridge, which will help it last a bit longer because this is water, it will go rancid. 
So depending on how quickly you use it, you might want to put it in the refrigerator. If you can't do that because of, you know, you're in the broom closet, whatever, then just make very small batches. Okay, guys? Hope that was helpful. Hope it wasn't too long. And like I said, let me know down below if you have any questions, if you made this, what you used, what you omitted, all that good stuff. I'd love to hear how it works for you. As always, blessed be. Bye.